Neil Richardson is known for restoring old buildings in Calgary. He has a plan to restore Calgary's last remaining heritage streetscape, the 100 block of 7th Avenue Southwest. That's the same block the Calgary Herald recently described as the worst block in the city. Richardson's secret weapon to salvage the six historic buildings? An automated parking lot like these in Europe and Asia. A $40 million, 360 spot parkade where vehicles are parked on a pallet and then stored in a spot by robots until the owner returns to retrieve them. Automated garages are touted as safer, environmentally friendly, and faster to use than a traditional parkade. And with the technology of the robotic systems, you do away with that sort of wasted space so you can build a significantly more efficient parkade, which really means you can save more of the heritage buildings than if you tried to do conventional. Richardson's Heritage Property Corp has produced a video to sell the idea. This is the Stampede Parade in the summer of 1927, back when the 100 block of 7th Avenue Southwest was the traditional route. At the time, the street was a thriving commercial center where people would come to shop, eat and meet friends. Heritage Property is inviting arts and culture groups to use the buildings after they've been restored, turning it into a block of galleries and performance spaces. If it's an active studio or galleries, you're going to have people there day and night and weekends. And given the kind of street that we're on right now and what it is, that's what it needs. Here's the proposal before City Hall. Put Eventually, an office tower is planned to be built on top of the parkade, leaving the six the historic buildings as part of a downtown cultural district. Heritage preservation is important and, and arts and culture is important, but parking, you know, we're really going against a parking policy. The idea needs a development permit and a change of thinking from City Hall, which has resisted adding more downtown parking in the past. In the grand scheme of things, the beneficial effect on the local area is, is going to be felt. The, the effect on parking and transit in general won't be felt. Richardson says it will take between six and nine months for a development permit, and if approved, work on the high-tech car park could begin in the spring of 2012. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.